Good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here amongst uh, some very, very special people today, and uh, PHCC is a, a, a really, really proud to be here. My name again is Jim Stack. I own and operate Stack Plumbing out of Seattle, Washington, which is about 10 miles northeast of Seattle. We get about 35 to 40 inches of rain a year, and yes, we have a water problem. Um, I joined PHEC in 1985. Uh, it was one of the best things I ever did for my business. I've served two terms on the national board, was elected to the executive committee, and served three years there, and served as their national president for the 2005-2006 term. I presently represent, uh, serve on the uh, World Plumbing Council and the IATMO Technical Plumbing Committee for PHCC, which just met uh, two, a week ago in, in Milwaukee. A little background on the Plumbing, Heating, Cooling Contractors Association was founded in 1883. 127 years, we're not going away. We have 200 affiliated state and local chapters. We currently have 3,500 contractor members employing over 70,000 technicians. Some of the member services include government relations outreach, technical representation and code, uh, code representation, the PHCC Foundation, Construction Contractors Alliance for those contractor members primarily doing new construction, Quality Service Contractors for those contractors primarily doing service repair and remodel, and the Union Affiliated Contractors for those that are signatory shops. Our program priorities include apprenticeship training, journeyman training, business management training, and workforce development initiatives. Through advocacy, advocacy and training, PHCC will accomplish many water conservation and energy efficient programs. Our goal is to actively position PHCC as an industry leader in water and energy conservation. We will do this by maintaining and expanding several key partnerships, some of which include Alliance for Water Efficiency, Coalition for Water Efficiency, Energy Star Partner, Green Plumbers USA Partner, IATMO Green Plumbing and Mechanical Code Partner, the U.S. Green Building Council, and the WaterSense Program. We are involved. The partners help us stay informed and have a voice for the contractor and increase our influence on important issues. On another illustration of our commitment in this area, the PHEC National Board just appointed a standing committee on water energy, water energy efficiency and water conservation that replaces a previous temporary task force. The committee's mission is to recommend strategies that will position PHCC as a leader in providing the plumbing, heating, cooling contractor with the tools they need to become energy efficient and water conservation advocates in the built environment. Just this year, we have taken several, undertaken several education initiatives in the energy and water conservation area. We established an energy and water conservation committee that are participating in building curriculum development meeting in fe February of this year, 2010. We have developed strong educational programs for our annual convention coming up in October, which include topics like protecting the health of the nation, water and energy in the 21st century, grow your business with geothermal, and are you retrofit? We are also excited that the PHCC Board of Directors has recently voted to hire a technical and code director. We haven't had someone in this position for many, many years. Uh, the executive director for IATMO, Russ Cheney, held that position with PHCC many years ago and we look forward to having the expertise back in the house again. PHCC moves forward. We will continue to emphasize water and energy initiatives. We will also offer more focused education for our contractors. Our active legislative and regulatory roles will continue. An example is we're working hard to make sure that water conservation and legislative legislation includes a requirement that the plumbing professional 
must complete the installation of these products and these new systems that are coming in front of us. We'll explore the need for certification programs for our contractors. We feel it's diligently important to provide these programs for them so that they are ahead of their field. We never forget our mission to protect the environment and health, safety, and comfort of society. PHCC is a, is a proud benefactor of this sponsor, the sponsor of this symposium, and PHCC was also involved in the 2008 inaugural event. I want to thank you for allowing me to give you a little background in PHCC's move to make our environment better through water and energy conservation. I look forward to the listening and learning over the next two days. On a little added note, um, in listening to Mr. Dave Friedman, the keynote speaker, I'd like to make a comment that I just came off of the IATMO Technical Committee meeting and the PHCC board meeting in Falls Church, Virginia here the last week. And of course, water conservation was the number one topic in most of those areas. My question was, how much is enough is enough? Can we flush toilets on a half gallon and make it work? Can we use less water to wash the bacteria that we need to be gone? And one of the things I come up with was what David talked about today is the recycling and the reuse of the water. I really feel, in my personal opinion, and I believe PHCC feels that the recycling and reuse is absolutely at the forefront of today because you have to have water, it has to be available, and it doesn't make any difference where you got it from as long as it's clean and it's usable and it doesn't have to be usable for drinking purposes if it can be used for other uh, additions. So I really thank you. I'll take questions. Let the day go on if anybody has any questions. <laughs>